once you've received your BSX, this is what you'll have. The bridge will be bubble packed up against the body. The strings will be wrapped here. First step, what we're going to do is take, and I'm going to tilt this body this way and show you. This is the adjustment screw. Don't make any adjustments at this time, at least for a couple of days once the base settles. Okay, turn the body on its side like so. Take the neck, fit it into the slot, the front of the heel should be up against there. Engage this insert in the neck and begin to tighten it up nice and tight. Making sure that there's hardly any gap between the heel of the neck and the body at this point. After you've done that, push down on it, making sure that it's not binding over here. Just unpack this, being careful. Unwrap the bridge, stand it up on its pins, making sure the wires all go down in the hole. Next, we're going to string it up. The strings are on. You notice that the fingerboard has been pulled and it's lower. So now you have action that you can actually play the instrument. You can continue to uh, tune the bass, making sure you push down on the end of the fingerboard so it doesn't bind again. And if you see that the bridge is being pulled forward toward the fingerboard, you can just stick your fingers here and pull it and straighten it out. Next, how to change the action. You'll get an Allen wrench that comes with the base. Insert it in this second hole here. If you turn this clockwise, the neck and the fingerboard will rise toward the strings for low action. If you turn it counterclockwise, it'll drop the neck and fingerboard back. So now, at that point, you want to tighten this because now you have relieved pressure from the heel. Other than that, that should be it. Next would be insert the end pin. That's the first step. Insert the end pin, put the hold screw in. If you notice, there's a piece of Delrine plastic here. It has to be the second step because if you put this in there and you put the end pin in, then you might knock that out and it'll be steel against aluminum. So this that's to protect it and keep it from marring. You also can mark this with a Sharpie pen at the height that you prefer. Other than that, play, enjoy, and good health.